did you start dancing? 15. What or who is it that inspired you to become a pro movement artist? I always liked dancing. Um, you know, I just always thought it was really cool that people could, you know, move their bodies in crazy different ways. The, the creativity of it was like amazing. So once I was able to find my avenue within it um, and all the benefits that came through and that helped me change my life and my perspective of life, you know, I felt like this is, you know, probably just a, one of those callings, you know, one of those things you get, you know, from the... What motivates me? I love this question because there's so many different things. First of all, it's music. Music drives my soul. You know what I mean? Like, music is just like... <sighs> uh, I don't know, learning different things, you know, uh, expanding my awareness about life. Every time I learn something new, I get inspired. I don't know, the people that I'm around inspire me. Um, the weather sometimes it inspires me. The, the area, the environment inspires me. Sometimes I see creative things from my environment. Um, pretty much a lot of things inspire me and motivate me um, and get me going. Do you have a role model? I have a lot of role models. Uh, Carl, you're actually one of my role models. You know, I love the way you do things. Very easy going, you know, you accept me for all my flaws. <laughs> uh, very positive, you know, you get things done. One of my major role models in my life is my older brother, Jeffrey. Uh, this guy has been an angel in my ear ever since I started dancing, ever since I was like really, really young. You know, he was uh, back and like, you know, coming in and out of my life you know, because he was, you know, a grown man and doing grown man things, but uh, he would always have something to share with me. We would all always share together, and we have a very building relationship. So, you know, we, we, uh, yeah, that's my role model. That dude's my hero. What do you think are the most beautiful things about dance? It's just beautiful. Everything about it. Uh, human bodies are weird, but they're amazing. They're beautiful. It's, they they do all types of crazy things. They make you feel all types of crazy ways. Um, all the illusions, all the strength and courage it takes to to get to a certain point. Like everything about dance is beautiful, artistic. Um, the community of it is beautiful. The community of dance, people coming together and sharing and being vulnerable. All that's beautiful. Everything about dance is beautiful to me. That's why I'm in love with it. We've been together for a long time. Uh, I'm actually thinking about putting a ring on it. What are the pros and cons of being a dancer? The pros of being a dancer is that you are a real life superhero. I, I am a real life superhero. I can fly. Um, you're more creative, you're more open, you know what I mean? You can talk to people and communicate with people. You can do what you love, you know, for a living. And it's fun, and it's healthy, and it, it's spiritually awakening, if that makes sense. It's, uh... There's so many pros. I, I, the list goes on and on. We can write a book about this. Um, the cons of dance is that um, you can get hurt. That's the reality. And if you do it for a living, you kind of have to push through it because we get no days off, right? No days off, right? Um, it's definitely alternative avenue from the more relative ideas of how to make a living. It's not clear to people that there's a lot of money in dance um, or there's a lot of stability in dance, and, which is true in a lot of cases. But um, I just think, you know, there has to be a better understanding of 
of money involved and a better idea of what you want to do with dance and that's when everything will come. How did you start crumping? Yo, I got into a fight one time, yo, and as soon as the, I was about to like engage into this fight, somebody pulled up in the car and they started like playing some gangster music and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna fight on beat. And then, you know what I mean, we got into the circle and I was like, uh, uh, oh, 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 right? And then, yo, that's how Crumpin' was created. Just playing. Um, yeah, I watched the movie Rise. And once I watched the movie, I knew that if I was going to dance, it was the first time dance had ever been like that, that much appealing to me, like, like to my personality, to like, it, it just resonated with me. So I watched the movie and after that, I thought I was a crumper for a long time until I actually became one. Can you tell us something about crump from your point of view? Crump from my point of view, Crump from my point of view was one of the greatest things that could have ever happened to me. Crump is like a very high level of expression to the degree that it's very spiritual. Um, moving your body in a way like that and gaining that type of control of your body and stimulating your imagination like that um, can lead to like a huge awakening, like a, a huge part of why I live the, the lifestyle I live is because of I've opened those doors for myself in my mind through Crump. So Crump is like, on the outside, you know, the people who are not like experienced dancers, it can look, you know, a little crazy. You know, now it's starting to be a little bit more accepted, but like, it's definitely for mature eyes, people who can really see dance in layers, uh, cause there's a lot going on, a lot of energy moving. So Crump is one of those, those things, it's almost like a, a martial arts. <laughs> uh, it's almost like a martial art in a sense where like, there's just a lot of layers going on. You think that you're just learning how to fight? Nah. You think you're just learning how to crump? and you're just doing it, nah, there's so much more going on underneath the layers of, of what we're doing. Um, so yeah, Crump is, is like the most extreme style from my perspective. Um, there's almost no boundaries, like it, it's just, it's just one of those things where like, uh, you wanna use the phrase turn up. <laughs> like nothing is turned up until you get to a Crump session and that's, that's where we take the, the meter of, of, sh of things and just like crank it all the way up. That's crunk from my perspective. Any word of advice for your fellow young dancers? My fellow young dancers, the sooner you can get over the fear of looking bad and not knowing, the quicker it will be for you to hop on board of an amazing journey that's filled with growth, uh, love, life lessons, um, expansion. Uh, just keep consistent. The dance is not an overnight thing. Be hyper aware, like just pay attention a lot to the details. Don't ever let your eyes leave a teacher. Like, just soak everything in like a sponge because like every body, every single human body, your body and your mind is unique. And you're so unique that if you continue to dance and learn and grow, um, you can create your own avenue through dance. You can create your own language, and that is, is powerful. So just keep consistent. Um, don't get caught up in hype. <laughs> just just love it, enjoy it. Um, and if you don't want to be a great dancer, you don't have to be. Just enjoy whatever aspects of dance that that stimulates you at the time. What would you say? to everyday people to convince them to move creative, creatively? 
everything is based around movement. Everything. Uh, your life is one large mass of movement. Everything is circulating. Everything is moving. Time is is moving. Almost nothing is ever really still. <laughs> so if you can become familiar with movement um, and have a and build a personal relationship with movement, it will make your life better. Especially if you're creative about it, because creativity is what created this world.